Do you want to become a unicorn and wield one of the most powerful swords in the game? Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Wonderboy Jake, and um, I'm going to show you how to get um, the unicorn um, mask and one of the most powerful swords in the game, which is called, which is called the Deadly Zen Sword. Now, if I just go into my inventory, it's an epic. I'm pretty sure that what purple means. Um, so yeah, this is what you're going to be getting, and also this unicorn horn, which has 50 be uh, 15 percent dodge, which is fairly good, I guess. So what you want to do is just head into the inn. Um, you're going to want to be roughly well. The sword is a level 12 sword, so you know make sure you're level 12. And all you want to do is head down into this sinkhole. Click on the little icon, and it'll bring you to this. Now, if you've come here before, you've noticed that the enemies have changed. Before, they were like those crab things in the Green Guard Cave, but they have updated them. Now they look like this. Now, I've done all the quests in here, so it's pretty hard for me to explain it to you. So, what I'm going to do is go over to the wiki and show you the quest line for this area. So, see you in a minute. Now, I'm on the Adventure Quest wiki, which is easier for me to show you what you need to do in this area, due to I've already completed the area twice so it was pretty hard for me to like remember the quests and what you need to do so I'm just gonna run through them all so the first one you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to kill 10 booklets um, they should drop first time and once you've done all that you're gonna need um, the seller key now this drops uh, it's a random drop you know I think you kill about five and then it drops so once you've done that you're gonna need to kill um, get six egg set, uh, sacks so they only drop by the booglets. Again, they don't drop first time, so watch out for that. Now the Lord of Pins. Now what you need to do is kill the boss one time. Well, <laughs> you need to get the pin off him once. But the only problem is he doesn't drop it first time, so just be careful with that. And then the next one you need to do, you need to kill 20. It's a bit of a grind, but it's all worth it because the sword and the helmet are pretty good stat-wise. So again, once you kill 20, they're going to want you to kill another 30. And then once you kill 30, they're going to want you to kill the boss three times. And after you did that, <laughs> you're going to need to kill those booglets 200 times. Now I suggest you have a group of friends to help you with this, as this takes a long time. And remember to um, pick up the... What's, what's it called? Just pick it up. Pick it all up. Everything. Pick it up. You're going to need it. Um, I think it's called the Dire Crest. Oh, wait, let me just have a look. Yeah, so you see this this item, you're going to need to pick it up. I'll tell you why. If you see it drop, just pick it up. Don't matter how it drops, just get it. So once you've killed um, the boss three times and you've killed 200, the next thing you're going to need to do, which will give you the sword, is you're going to need to get um, this item from the boss. Now, this item drop rate is terrible. It takes ages and ages and ages. And obviously, you get 10 of the crusts and you get the sword. So it's all worth it. And if you want to go the extra mile, mile and get the unicorn horn, you can do it again. But again, you need to only kill it once. But again, the drop rate for this is really, like, I don't know if it shows you the drop rate. I'll have a look now. Um, let me just, you know, the items are over there. Mm. I'll have a look at the drop rate. See if it has, nope, it doesn't have a drop rate. No, you're on the right thing. So yeah, it does take ages, but it's all worth it because the stats on these weapons are pretty cool. So if you did manage, or if you tried getting the 99 crust, what you want to do, you can actually hand this in at a quest for this dude, and then you can get the brain slime. I'll put a picture up what it looks like, uh, but this will take away your unicorn horn, so make sure you know what you're doing. You can either, if you want, keep the slime or the unicorn, you can't have both so you know and it's no going back you can't get the boot horn again so just be wary of that but anyway that's how you get the brain slime and these crests are really hard to get they drop like every 50 enemies I don't know something like that it's pretty ridiculous but yeah you can try to get it I used to have it on my other character but he's gone I deleted him he's dead so that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this really helped you out um, because I definitely didn't know where to get these two items first place. So if you're new, you might want to come here and start grinding this area. It does take a long time, but it's all worth it, guys. So again, yeah, if you if you enjoyed the video, like that, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I'll see you.
in the next one.